hello, hello. This is your friend and sister, Ebony, Nina, from Nina's Bible Journal. And I wanted to share with you guys a, let's create a page together. So this is a process video of day one of Mark Maker. So I do have a little bit of a mess. But it's because I was setting everything up. So basically, this is the kit, Mark Maker. This is the newest kit from Illustrated Faith from the month of April. For a minute, I forgot which month we were. So in the month of April, I'll be linking um, the unboxing video so you guys can see what does the kit bring and what is the kit all about. So day one, basically, we're just going to be going in through some artists that how their creativity um, engages or connects with God. So that's beautiful. So um, day one is Shanna, and then she shares some scripture on it, and basically it goes to what I'm currently creating, what are my favorite things to connect while you're creating, your, what scripture um, clenches to you when you're struggling to connect with art. And here in the bottom, we have what it is, a um like a phrase so in this case we have if you allow god to give you a glimpse of eden he will from annie f downs so we're gonna be working on the first day first page so we have i got everything out we are not making a mess i promise we're not making a mess but i'll be using some stuff that i haven't used in a minute so basically i already did highlight the scripture that we're gonna be working on and basically that scripture is jonah 2 from if you can read 2 to the 8 the 9th that'll be beautiful but i'll i'm just concentrating in jonah 2 um basically 1 to 4 and i'm gonna read it for you guys it says i call i called out the lord out of my distress and he answered me out of the belly of the Sheol I cried, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the flood surrounded me. All you, all your waves and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am driven away from your sight, yet I shall again look upon your holy temple. And... Uh, I cried when I when I started reading this. I had to take a minute. I was like, I'm gonna record this uh, later because it did really um, spoke to me. And basically, it doesn't. We all know um, Jonah's, you know, um, his his story <laughs> with a <the> big fish. <laughs> so it's it's beautiful how you can see, and it reminds me. And I wanted. I wanted you to get it as a reminder as well that it doesn't matter how far away you feel from God or you're in a season where things are not going maybe like you thought or there's a lot of dreams there for you. Now you see them as dead dreams or promises that you feel like God will not fulfill that maybe you're too late or you're not going to make it. I come to tell you today that he will make it. He heard, he is hearing your distress. He's hearing your cry. He is hearing your prayer. So yes, I come to remind you that it doesn't matter what season you are. God, God is good. God is faithful. He is, he is God. And even though God could have ignored Jonah and be like, you didn't listen to me, so... I'm just going to take you away. He didn't. He didn't. He was able to, he redeemed himself later on in the story. But he, in that moment, he did recognize that when he called, he needed to call out to the Lord. And like verse one says, I, call, I called out to the Lord out of my distress and he answered me. So he will answer your prayer you just maintain yourself faithful to the Lord and be strong, be strong, but God has your back. It doesn't matter how 
deep is the situation or how deep is the season that you're going through, God will make way. So I just want to share with you guys that verse and that little piece of peace of mind of that scripture, how it talked to me. So yeah, so let's go to the creative part. So what I'm using is some goodies that I've got during the releases from January and March. So they had this alpha um sets that they had released earlier this year. So I was able to get myself, I got this coral, the green, and we got the pink. And then we're using, so <laughs> everything that comes with the kit, it came in this cute box. So we're gonna be using this, not a box, this paper bag. <laughs> we're gonna be using this as our background. So we are gonna recycle this and we're gonna use it. Something that I'm using new today, if you can see, I prepped already the page. I have my Illustrator Faith page protector now. It doesn't go away, right? <laughs> it doesn't move because I'm using the Pixie Spray. Basically, it is a light tack repositionable adhesive for stencils. Um, I was able to get my hands on them when I went on that retreat um, in March, by the end of March, and I had my eye on it for a minute, and I'm using it, well, I'm using it today for this part of just holding the pages, that way I don't have to use washi tape on them. So, so far, I like it. So, it, it works. It hasn't ripped any of my pages on my Bible. I just leave it um to dry for a minute, and then I go ahead and put it under the page. So first we're gonna glue this on the back and then we're gonna cover it with a gesso um, for our background. Hey guys, so here I am just um, gluing the back of this paper. Um, I was having technical issues. It had a little bit of um, dry glue on it. So I was just getting rid of that um, to be able to actually glue this paper. And this is the paper um, that all the goodies came in on the kit. So I decided to just reuse it and use it as part of my background. So here am I still struggling to get this. It had a bunch of dry glue, so that's why it took me a little bit. But that's the art, um, the art glitter glue that I use for paper crafts. So I'm just going, um, I just, um, glue that on my page as a background. And then I'm just going to go in with this brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and cover the whole page with clear gesso i just wanted to give that a little bit more of texture on the page just um in case that i was i, I was thinking of using maybe watercolors but i didn't use um watercolors but it's okay i just wanted to prep that page just in case so i'm just going ahead and just sealing everything making sure if there's an area that needs a little bit more glue go ahead and cover that part and we're just working on it and i'm just keep covering with clear gesso i use that art basics clear gesso for me is one of my favorites brand of gesso that it has worked so far for me so here i'm just heating it up with my um my hot my hot my hot gun <laughs> um just getting everything sealed and dry so i can go ahead and finish the page so i really wanted to make sure that it was really really dry um i know that i showed you guys in the beginning that I, I used a tacky spray so it did there's a section that you will guys will see where i think i shouldn't have used it with glue <laughs> and gesso on it because it did get stuck on it um when i removed it still ripped a little bit of the page um thank god that i had like the paper that i'm using on top of it to cover it but it did rip a little bit so my recommendation is maybe not use it for like i did um to try to if you're gonna work with maybe um just like a regular um creation nothing to elaborate it or not using like glue and then gesso and all those um layers so my recommendation if you're doing layers maybe um using the pixie spray um to the mat so it can stay like i will say like there hold it on it won't work so here i'm using my gloss sprays from diana winkley and i hope i'm saying that right i always get it wrong i'm sorry <laughs> 
But here I am. I love using this gloss sprays. They're with acrylic paint. They don't bleed through. I love them. I have, I think, almost every color. I love them. And they give it like that glossy um, look. So for me, it's a fave. It's one of my favorites um, products to use when I'm journaling. Um, here I'm going with the gun again, the hot gun. Making sure everything is dry. They do those drops of gloss sprays. They do dry really quick. But I just really wanted to make sure everything was dry. So here we're just going. And then it has some um, green fabric um, that it, um, I got. I, I bought extra on for the kit. So here I'm just working, trying to give it like a little, I don't know what you will call it. But I will call it a little bit of a mess. I want it to look at like um, maybe like arrugado in Espanol. I don't know how to say that in in english but just wanted to give you like that texture of it like looking like a little bit not grungy or maybe you can say like grungy down i just wanted some grungy fabric that's how we're gonna call it um and i was just playing with it and making sure it it had like those dimensions that i want to like fold in so there we go and i got those glued down as well and i'm using this lemon lime color um as the title and I'm using those alphas. That's the pink one. That one released on February's kit. Um, and then the other two, they released, I think, on the March. Yes, on the March kit. And then I'm just going ahead and getting all that settled. And I'm working on Jonah 2, verse 3 to 4. Um, I did mention earlier in the beginning of the video, we talked a little bit about that message. I call out um, your name. And for me, when I create like the pages that I... So don't get me wrong, I love all my pages. But there are certain pages that the creativity has been through maybe a lot of crying. And that desert season when I feel like God is really, really far. And there's when I just blast out my worship music and I literally cry out his name and creativity starts coming to me ideas start coming to me I have to sometimes write it down because I don't know how to explain it and then um I just go into his word and there's something that I can just not explain about God's presence but yes you can see here we had a little bit of struggle getting that removed um it did rip a little bit as you guys could see um here's me trying to glue it back um so yeah just be careful with that pixie it's for stencils not for math so i was just trying to be um trying to be too creative maybe <laughs> but then this is some cute tabs that it came um that i got as extras on the kit and they're so cute oh they have fabric on it so so it's beautiful and then we just always use my stamper um to mark those dates and i'm using um some stickers from Speak Life that I still had. And it's almost like color coordinate. So I just wanted to use them there. And we are putting the finishing touches on this page. And I'm using the Faber-Castell Neon um, Highlighter Pencils. They are great. I've been using it for like four weeks or no, three weeks already. And I've been loving it. I had to get a special sharpener because those are bigger than regular pencils. So, but they're awesome. I love them. And they don't bleed through. So they're... They're just like, you can say like regular pencils, coloring pencils, but they're just thicker for the highlight part. And then I'm here. I just got some ephemeras that I had already picked out earlier that I'm just um, gluing to the page. I use my Tumbow, um to glue them there. I was still trying to bring more ephemeras, but they just, mm -mm, they were not supposed to be there. So I just got um, some finishing touches, use more stickers. And I'm using this beautiful washi tape. Oh, it has like a bunch of watercolors. So there I'm just putting that on the corner. And we are done. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and God bless.